I've been thinking, I can't run this club forever. I built this for nothing. This is our family. Here we are, Bike Riders. What a film, what a film. Uh, been released this week in cinemas. Uh, we had the pleasure of, of going. And um, I tell you what, Jeff Nichols, you know, take a bow. Very, very good film, this one. Uh, Star-studded cast as well. Uh, you know, obviously we've got the likes of Austin Butler and uh, Tom Hardy, to, to name a few. And, and Jodie Comer, uh, who's uh, coming, yeah, is probably best known for uh, Killing Eve, uh, as amongst other roles that she's played. But yeah, this is a... This is a uh, Goodfellas on Harleys was one of the reviews uh, left by a um, tabloid, which I think is a really good way to describe this. This uh, shows the story of uh, Austin Butler, played by Benny, who uh, kind of um, has this love connection to Jodie Comer's uh, character um, in amongst a, a setting of a, of a motorcycle club run by Tom Hardy. And obviously you see the escapades of what they get into. Um, but yeah, how did you find the first view of the film, Alex? Yeah, I mean, this is not Sons of Anarchy. I don't know if you've seen the TV series, um, which is which is about um, well, obviously it's five or six seasons, so it's 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 a telling of a uh, it's a similar story to this basically, but that's more action packed. This is more like uh, it's almost like a, a gathering of friends that are in the same state of mind. It's almost like a social club, to be honest. Um, before they turn into doing anything. Um, you know, illegal or anything mm. out, you know, outside of the the law, um, and it's uh, the, Tom Hardy in the beginning is is obviously a presence on the screen as he does, but you see that he's not this. He looks on TV and he gets the idea of starting a club. Remember, he yeah. actually sees Marlon Brando in a film, and you know, he Marlon Brando says, uh, you know, he gets asked, "What what are you um, rioting against, rebelling against?" And then he says, "What do you have?" <laughs> so yes, yeah. it's something like, um, we, "We're not happy, um, and we're a bunch of people that we know we're not happy, and so we're just gonna, uh, you know, meet all together in the same place." And it, as it happens, we like riding bikes too. One of them is a mechanic, one of them has been riding bikes all his life. So they just get together, drink, and tell stories about their life and how society is wrong. And that's exa I think that is a bit more impactful, and I like that more instead of seeing the, uh, you know, the action and the, 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 the illegal stuff that these clubs turned into gangs later and started doing. Mm. Um, yeah. And it's in the 70s, isn't it, Buzz? And which I think yeah. is a good period. It's a good thing to remember. Because yeah. yes. it was a, a, a certain time when this was sort of like, almost like natural to start seeing gangs and groups of people yeah. not being happy, basically. Yeah. What did you think of the fact that his friends turning into a gang? Yeah, well, this is the thing. It's, um, as, you, as you say, it's, um, what is it, 1965 to 1973, um, I believe, the um, photographer slash journalist kind of riding with them. And then it eventually ended up writing about them to which this, this movie is based on. And um, yeah, no, it's, um, as you say, it's friends, uh, uh, friends who are down and out. Some of them are down and out. Uh, some of them just love motorcycles. Some of them are mechanics. And then, you know, they, they congregate. And, um, you know, as, as Kathy says, played by Jodie um, in the film, you know, she says they're all, you know, all, some of them are just bums and some of them aren't really that brave. But the point of it is they congregate together because they feel safe with each other. And it's kind of like a brotherhood, really. They're looking out for each other, aren't Correct. they? And they, they it, it's, it's like a point of football team, almost. Everyone's on the same side. You've all, everyone's got each other's back. You know, if one of them falls down, the rest of, <laughs> the rest of them are going to help, sorry. And, uh, and so forth yeah. and so on. But this kind of gets a bit nasty and a bit complicated once um, new members of a club are um, um, introduced um, from far, far out places. You know, because obviously word gets around that, you know, you, you join this club, you get looked after. But there starts to be a, a, an essence of you don't know these people who are in your club. You know, whereas mm. back when it originated, they, everyone knew everyone. You know, do you get where I'm coming from? Correct. Alex? They're friends, yeah. They're, like you said, like a brotherhood. So you'll know... You know, in your in your own little area, you'll know who's part of this and the, of this uh, club, basically. And it was almost it, it was almost like that community field in the beginning. And obviously, as it grows, you've got everywhere in all parts of the country different type of chapters, like they call it. Um, yeah. And it it almost like it transforms the leader of Johnny, which is Tom Hardy. It, it forces him to react and. 
you know, uh, it's not necessarily a good thing that he has to react to these new members that are not behaving. They're not true to what the club is. Mm. Um, and that's where the conflict starts. But let's talk a little bit about acting. Because mm. Jodie Comer, man, wow. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> just mean like... the, the accent alone. Right? <laughs> you see that? They're playing or something. Look at all of them whispering over there. Oh. Oh, I'm going to go. And that's when I seen Benny standing over at the pool table. Um, you know, I, when when she first appears on screen, I'm like, where do I know this chick from? You know, and I, I couldn't, it, yes. it didn't hit straight away because I didn't know she was in the movie until I was like watching it. Um, and yeah, the accent alone, I mean, what is that meant to be? Is that sh Chicago, is it? I don't know, but <laughs> maybe someone yeah, from America. Yeah. Well, it's it's that it's that neighborhood, the type of, you know, middle class or lower class neighborhood that she's just one of these girls that is always gossiping and always talking and she talks fast and she talks with an ask, accent and she's got this pitched voice that is mm. sometimes annoying and but all of that the fact that you didn't recognize her straight away from killing eve is mm. credit to how good she is oh yeah and like yeah but you, you don't have time to think about where where i've seen it for because on screen she's just glowing all the time absolutely um, yeah and, and, uh, and there's something and, really special about her isn't it there's something that's really screams wife material about her yes and then, you know yes, and, uh, yes. and it's quite, i think I think Austin Butler was a little, little bit not utilized enough as a as a as an actor because he's a good actor. Besides looking good, he's a good actor too, didn't, isn't he? Yeah, I I kind of just thought Austin was there for a bit of eye candy for the ladies really in the film because he's a he's very good looking man in the film. You know, and I think a lot of women will watch that and think that's you know that is the Tom Hardy sort yeah. of esque character. It's this big yeah. strong man. You know, nice hairline. You know, rides his big motorcycles, and he's and he's too cool to say anything really. Whereas you've got yeah, Tom Hardy, yeah. who's kind of playing a bit of a shadow uh, backdrop character, and uh, you know he does look a bit more grisly, and he you know he, he does look like a dad in the film, doesn't he? You know, and um, it's a bit weird really. But I, I think you said I think you said it. Austin's not really utilized probably as much as he could have been, and so actually. Mm. Kathy kind of takes kind of a front role of a film, I'd say, to be honest. She's, I'd say, the main character, really. Not only does she narrate Correct. it quite a lot, but she's been interviewed for two thirds of the film by, yeah. by the yeah. photographer, isn't she? And actually, the, the Austin Butler's character is, is very conflicted, and it could have been a really good story to follow him in what he decides to be, basically, because he's, he's this most loyal guy of, in, the, in, the club, mm. in the club. He's mm. best friends with Johnny. He's the most loyal person. He will literally die for the club. Yeah. Uh, but at one point, you know, he needs to understand what is the future. Basically, he needs and he needs to grow up. Um, yeah. And that's that's his his arc, sort of. But um, mm. I think he was unfinished because he disappeared at one point. So, but, but but overall, the film is a very I don't know. The film felt like the book that is based off because it's based on a book of photos, isn't it? Mm, and this yeah, film yeah. looks so good in every single frame. You just mentioned Austin Butler looking cool on bikes, but they all look cool on bikes. You know, they do. They scenes do. when they're riding on the motorway and it's really, really yeah. nice. Sun, the sun is setting and it's uh, and even the, the, even the they sound all look of the, cool. Yeah, even the sound of the bike. Correct. They, 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 it reminded me uh, a little bit of a film. What was, is it Ferrari? We watched Ferrari, didn't we? And, and I think one of the yes. film, one of one of the things that that film did really good was was get the beautiful sounds of those Italian engines going. Well, the bikes in this Correct. film they all sound really nice to listen to, and you can imagine how they feel and stuff when you're riding, you know, on miles and miles of, of road in America and what have yeah. you. But uh, another thing that impressed me about this film as well is uh, obviously the, the, they have the, the cast is pretty mental, isn't it? Really, you know, obviously it's got Funny Sonny, who's played by Norman is it Reedus from you know it's. Um, Walking Dead. From, uh, Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah. Dale. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously Michael Shannon's in it, who plays this bit kind of odd uh, Latvian guy who looks a bit mental, um, you know, amongst yes. amongst many, many others. And it, it, you just keep noticing these little cameo roles, don't you, from, from pretty absolutely, good actors absolutely. and actresses. I mean, it's, it's always welcome because it, it's just a nice surprise. And Michael Shannon and the director, they've been in so many other films together. Yeah. Um, 
So I, w I wasn't surprised to see him. Well, I was surprised to see him because I didn't see him on the on the poster, his name, Michael Shannon's. Mm. But then I said, yeah, of course, he's going to be in a, in a Jeff Nichols film. But yeah, even the music was good. The sound was good. The acting was good. So definitely not an action film. So maybe the poster betrays what the film is really about. Yeah. Um, but I think it's, it's all about friends that have this a, a common purpose, to be honest, and they're trying to find the right space um, in order to put their thoughts together to become themselves and that space is a motorcycle club but that's all it is yeah there. and then and then it kind of it kind of degenerates into a kind of um drug infested um probably misogynistic um you know sort of crime ridden ugly mm. thing doesn't it what, what started off as friends looking out for each other becomes to like a, you kind of say mass yeah. crime um club almost mm. doesn't it it's what it's what has what has what have the the real gangs the you know the real motorcycle clubs became yeah. back in the day eventually uh, turned into a gang of crime basically but but this was really good actually very good uh, yeah. bike riders in yeah, I really in enjoyed this fantastic film thank you for watching our review of the bike riders please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you like to see more reviews like this stick around for a review of Hitman on Netflix see you soon.